Uh, Senator Inhofe, please. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, General Townsend, as I said in my opening statement, I want to talk more about the, the plight of the people of Western Sahara. Uh, many of my colleagues may not be familiar with what they, they've been going through out there, but it's nothing short of a tragedy. Um, the fate of the Sahrawi uh, people has been in limbo since Western Sahara was decolonized and the United Nations adopted the resolution calling for a referendum on self-determination in 1966. That was 1966. More than five decades later, no referendum has been held and their destiny has been subjected to broken promise after broken promise uh, by the Moroccan government. Some of the administration believe Morocco is now serious about negotiating a mutually acceptable resolution in uh, Western Sahara after blocking it for all those uh, these years. And I, I couldn't disagree more. Nothing see, uh, I've seen uh, from Morocco makes me think that they're serious about, about the resolution. And that's why I'm pleased that the Secretary has directed you to look at alternative locations for DOD exercises in Africa, like uh, African Lion and uh, in the coming years. I have more than uh, that we want to say about Western Sahara, but uh, we're pressed for time, so I'll submit that in, uh, in writing. Now, General Townsend, no, General Townsend, I want to turn to Somalia. As you know, I opposed the last administration's decision to pull nearly all of our troops out of Somalia and move them to Djibouti and Kenya uh, and pursue an over-the-horizon counterterrorism strategy. Uh, it increases risk and decreases our effectiveness. We're, we're seeing this play out on the ground in Somalia as things get worse and al-Shabaab al uh, gains strength. Uh, General Townsend, uh, you've called the uh, uh, al-Shabaab our primary enemy in uh, Somalia. The, your quote was, the largest and most kinetically active al-Qaeda network in the world. I have two questions, General um, uh, Townsend. Have you submitted a request to your chain of command to put DOD forces back in, in Somalia on a full-time basis? And if the answer is uh, yes, then when did you submit the request? And have you gotten any response yet from that request? Uh, thanks, Ranking Member. Um, you, all the characterizations you just relayed there about um, Somalia and the threat from al-Shabaab are, are correct. Um, respectfully, Senator, I, I have submitted advice uh, to my chain of command, and uh, my chain of command is still uh, considering uh, that advice, and uh, I'd like to give them um, r space to make that decision, and I, I can go in, into it in a bit more detail in, in closed session. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, General McKenzie, I, I don't really have any further questions, uh, but I, I do want to comment that it's, uh, it's hard for me to believe that I, I can see now why we're not smiling and you are smiling. Uh, apparently, it's going to, going to be, I think, in two more weeks that you'll be bailing out of here. And uh, I wish you the best and, uh, for uh, your retirement. All right? Great. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank